Hello, welcome to the second video where we are talking especially about attention mechanism in NLP. As you remember, we have four types of attentions, encoder decoder. I have introduced about this type in previous my video of this mini course. Then we have self attention. We will talk about it today. Then we will have bidirectional attention and multi hit attention mechanism in my next video's lesson dedicated to attention. So today, we are gonna cover everything what is important to know about self-attention from math and logical perspective. Let's go! Once we have decoder encoder attention, which is perfect for translation, here we have totally different approach. Here we comparing words to previous words in the same sequence. So take a look down here. We have one sequence. We have just an encoder here. So the first layer that starts the transformation is embedding layer right here. Embedding layer enable us to convert each word into a fixed length vector or defined size. The fixed length of words vector help us to represent words in a better way along with reduced dimensions. Next to that, we have linear layers which take outputs from embedding layer and differentiate them into Q queries, V values and Q keys. Quickly pay attention to dimensions. All these matrices have dimensions in this example of 3 by 4, where each word is represented vertically. Because of this reason, we have 4 columns. To make this example simple, we use 3 rows in each matrix. In real world, these units can be much bigger. Self-attention takes queries, values and keys from single sequence. Different as we had in encoder decoder attention, where we took these from two sequences. This is great when we are building transform models that look at the previous tokens and try to predict the next token. We would be using this approach in stuff like text generation and summarization. By having this, we can now calculate our dot product. Dot product consists of key transposed and key query. Dot product is just a multiplication of these two components. One difference from encoder decoder tensor is that query is coming from the same place as key. Let's quickly check the dimensions in our dot product. Key transpose has dimensions of 4 by 3, while Q has dimensions of 3 by 4. During multiplication of these matrices, we can to simplify the result dimensions by doing this. And so, in the result of this dot product we have this 4x4 four four matrix. Let's name it our alignment tensor. Remember, this result of dot product can have bigger dimensions in real life. It can be dimensions of 716 or 512 or have similar dimensions. Now, it is very important moment. Please pay attention here. By side of this dot product result, we have additional matrix over here. I will explain what we are doing with this in simple words. This matrix is like masking matrix. So what we are doing here is add that masking tensor to our alignment tensor. Masking tensor is a set of zeros, which is are placed in the left downside as like this. Over here, we have negative numbers, very big negative numbers. Let's say it is negative infinity. Now, what happens when we add this negative infinity to our alignment matrix here? Of course, the result is a very large and negative number. And if we just draw what the softmax function actually does to our values, we will be able to understand why we are taking this negative infinity. So we have this function here. So x axis, here is where we would place the values from this result operation. 
So if one of our values here was for example equal to 1, we would plot 1 here. And the result of softmax function where the input value is 1, the result equal let's say 0.7. We can incorporate softmax on the top of this function and these calculations can be interpreted like this. Input is 1 and the output of softmax is equal to 0.7. Ok, and what if our value on the x-axis is approaching to negative infinity? That means that all the way over here our value is going to intercept with the x-axis. What softmax can return from this input is almost 0. And what we get at the end of this calculation is this matrix. Remember that last operation when we input negative infinity and got 0? This operation result comes to this corner filled in green. What is happening here? We are cancelling these values that are passed of that point for our attention product. From mathematical perspective, if we multiply some real value by 0, we will get 0 at the end. And then attention for these values is also equal to zeros. So then these values get cancelled out and we are just left with the attention for all the values that came before our current time step. So we get the attention for each of these words. So for example if we have a sentence the best video games of 2022 so far. We may currently on this time step word games and we do have words over here. And we want to find the attention between games and each of the preceding words. That is how self attention works. I hope this time spent watching this video was useful for you. Subscribe this channel to get more. On the next video in this series we will talk about bidirectional attention. See you there.